Hi, in this particular video we're going to be carrying on in the playlist where we're looking at algebra fractions. I just thought it'd be useful to add some extra examples for you to have a look at. So in this particular one it's solve the equation, in other words find the value of x. It's really quite straightforward this type of um, solution so hopefully you'll be able to follow it as I go through it but please do stop the video, have a go and then compare your answer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look at this x. Now, bearing in mind that it kind of um, can be written as going to be x plus 5 over x minus 3. But this x, I'm going to write it as x over 1, which is exactly the same. But what it allows us to do is to do a little bit of cross multiplication. So what we can do is we can say, well, actually, I'm going to cross multiply the x minus 3 to the x and also the x plus 5 to the 1. And so what I end up with getting is going to be x plus 5 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I've got x times x minus 3. OK, and then really it's just a case of solving this for x. OK, so let's just firstly get rid of those brackets. So if I multiply out, I've still got x plus 5 on the left, but on the right I've got x squared minus 3x. OK, so the next thing is that I need to recognise that this is a quadratic because it's got an x squared term. So in order to get rid of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise it. OK. But in order to factorise it, I need to make it equal to zero. So in other words, what I've got to do is take these two terms over towards the right hand side. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to keep this x squared as positive. So therefore, I'm going to keep it on the right hand side where it belongs. If I brought it over to the left hand side, it would become negative. So I want to keep it as a positive term. So. The first thing I'm going to do is take this x over towards the right by minusing x from both sides. So if I do that, I still get 5, but I've now got x squared minus 3x minus x is minus 4x. OK, then I've got to get rid of this 5. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to minus the 5 from both sides. OK, so that's going to mean that I've got 0, which is what I want, equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. And now it's really just a case of factorising that. Now, there are a couple of different ways of factorising, but hopefully you'll recognise the two numbers that multiply to make minus 5 and add to make minus 1 are going to be minus 5 and positive 1. So I can write that as 0 equals x minus 5 times x plus 1. OK. So therefore, my two values of x, well, my first value of x is when x minus 5 equals 0, then it must mean that the value of x is positive 5. So therefore, x equals positive 5. And then when x plus 1 equals 0, then it must mean that x equals minus 1. OK, I hope that's OK for you. That is the solution to this particular question. You've got two values of x, where x equals 5, x equals minus 1 in this particular equation. And you could actually just plug those numbers in and uh, see it for yourself and make sure that you're happy with those solutions. I hope that's been useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video where they're going to get just a little bit more challenging. Okay, see you very soon.